past year, it's been difficult to be a realtor in North Carolina. And I can only imagine how difficult it's been and challenging to lead this group. But I have to say that Patrice fought a good fight with grace and elegance. And I don't know of uh, a more composed and professional face that could have been put on our industry. Patrice, I know you've heard this. been back many times. And it will be the last time you hear it. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I will say how exciting I am for the upcoming year being led by Tom. Uh, I'm excited because, excited because Tom, he's so excited. <laughs> uh, you know, I've watched him watching everything that has happened and that is happening. Uh, he has his finger on the pulse of the real estate industry, uh, and he realizes that that pulse uh, is getting stronger every day. And it's going to be a genuine pleasure uh, to watch Tom lead us through the coming year and watch him infect our membership with such great now, for myself, I feel a little bit old, okay? It's not great hair, and it's not really a bad thing, but <clears throat> I realized that it's the thing that when you realize that you've been in business through three cycles of real estate, when you, when you sit down and you look at it, and, you know, uh, according to the Cato Institute, a, a real estate cycle lasts 18 years, okay? So I was licensed in 19... <clears throat> and, uh, <laughs> That was at the end of one cycle, and then I managed to survive the cycle, and now we're a few years into another cycle. But, um, I, and really, I want to put it in perspective, and I brought some props, and you know, some of the light theaters may not know what these are, <laughs> but you can either Google it or you can see me afterwards, but when I started in the business, you could still go to the mall and buy one of these, okay? <laughs> right? And then what happened was, we went to this. I couldn't find an HVAC tank. It, it, and then we did this, and then now we have that telephone that's sitting down there on my chair I was supposed to bring up here with you. Okay? And, and the, the cool thing about that is, is that our industry has done that as well. Okay? We, we've evolved with time and technology, and we just haven't gone from a typewriter to a computer, but now we're out with our clients and we have a mini handheld computer. It's a calculator, it's a telephone, it's a camera, it's, it's, a, it's a music player, and it'll hold the whole you know, music collection. It, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So, yeah, with all the technology we possess, it doesn't protect us from the difficult times as the last few years have shown us. Um, if you listen to the news, and trust me, both my wife and my staff, which I wouldn't listen to the news as much, what you hear when they talk about the economy is you hear them talk about housing and jobs. And I haven't really counted them, but I believe they talk about housing about four times more than they do jobs. The reason that is is that everybody knows that the health of the economy is tied to a health, a health, the health of the housing industry. And what that does, that puts that on our shoulders. Okay, it is on our shoulders, and I believe that we are more than capable of this task that has been brought to us. It's been 20 years since Bill Chee gave the most important speech in NAR history when he gave us his famous lines of cutting over the hilltop. In that speech, he urged us to take steps to improve our technology and our systems so that we became, as he so eloquently put it, such a valuable resource that no one, no vendor, no buyer, no seller will seek any benefit in bypassing the road. I think that goal, that wisdom will stand today, but in my opinion, it goes far beyond that. It's just as much about education, ethics, public awareness, professional standards, political activism. I believe we have become the lion. But the thing is, is we have to remember that there are other lions out there, and, and we, we, it's up to us to face them and do, do and, and with all the, the best our industry has to offer, and with all the best that we as individuals have to offer. So the numbers are in, the economy is showing improvement, the housing industry is coming back. I believe with our hard work and commitment, it will come back stronger than ever. We have this, okay? We do. And the last thing that I have to say is, I want to say how humbled and honored I am to be here, to be part of this group that stands shoulder to shoulder with all of you. And we will be primarily responsible for the housing industry rebound and pulling the economy along with it. I look forward to working with all of y'all. It's a great time to be a realtor in North Carolina. Thank you very much.